Call People vs. James Holmes, 12 CR 152. James Egan Holmes shuffled into a Colorado courtroom, hands cuffed in a prison jumpsuit, his hair a shocking comic book orange red. It's the first look at a man accused of killing 12 people and wounding 58 others at a packed midnight screening of the movie The Dark Knight Rises. At times, the 24 year old appeared listless, sitting virtually motionless during his initial hearing his eyes drooping as the judge told him about the severity of the case. Security at the court was tight. Uniformed deputies surrounded the building inside and out. If family members of the victims were looking for answers, they didn't get them from Holmes. He never uttered a word in court. I didn't see him when we were in the theater. At a hospital nine miles away, Christina Blosh watched footage of the televised hearing. But I don't think the guy has any remorse or even knows, you know, fully the extent of what he was doing. There's no way. The 29-year-old woman survived the rampage and is recovering from gunshot wounds. It's just kind of one of those things where I knew I'd been shot in one leg because I saw the blood going everywhere. So immediately I grabbed it, you know, pushed pressure with my jeans because my jeans was holding like everything in there. Outside the court, David Sanchez, whose pregnant daughter and son-in-law were wounded in the attack, said prosecutors ought to seek the death penalty against the suspect. He said his daughter wanted him to be at the hearing. She has to concentrate on what is going on right now. She needs to have this baby delivered and she needs to take care of her husband. The district attorney has 60 days to request the death penalty in this case. There's so much that victims have to take into account and and Victims will be impacted by that decision in an enormous way for years if, if the death penalty is sought. An attorney for Holmes' family spoke on their behalf today in San Diego. That their hearts go out to the victims and their families. Um, the Holmes family would like to maintain their privacy. Um, so at this time, we will not be discussing James or his relationship to the family. Police say Holmes carried an assault <clears throat> rifle, a shotgun, a handgun, yeah, and was wearing body standing. armor, and then set off smoke there, bombs to disorient people inside the movie theater. The what stopped charges? him? A federal law enforcement source told the AP his semi-automatic rifle jammed. He went back outside where police found him by his car. He reportedly told authorities he set traps at his apartment. It took a bomb squad a day to defuse dozens of explosive devices. For Christina Blosh, the lingering question is, will the man suspected of shooting her and dozens of others explain himself? I just doesn't, I can't fathom somebody just wanting to go into a movie theater and ruin everybody's day. Weeks before his arrest, Holmes withdrew from a highly selective Ph.D. program. His childhood friends described him as an introvert, yet nice. Yet for months, police say he'd been accumulating a mass arsenal of weapons. For authorities, the search inside Holmes' mind Maybe as difficult as it was to get inside his apartment. John Mount Associated Press, Aurora, Colorado.